Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be testing out this Calm Dough Bread Maker. So if you guys would like to see this video, keep watching. So this bread machine comes with this hook that helps you to take the dough paddle out in case it's stuck in your bread after baking. We get measuring spoons. This is the dough paddle. And we also get a measuring cup. So this machine also comes with your user manual, which includes some recipes to the back of the manual. Now today I'm actually going to be using my sister-in-law's recipe. And on the top of the machine, you would see all the different variations of things that you can make. So we're going to be making a homemade bread. So the setting for that is number 15. It does one pound, 1.5 and 2.2 pounds delay start time and menu buttons so this that i'm removing here it's called the fruit or nut tray or dispenser you place all of your fruits or nuts in there and while the machine is working it will dispense when it's the time for it to go into your dough how cool is that now this paddle goes into the base of your tub and the tub goes back into the machine you have to put it at, at an angle and then turn it clockwise for it to lock into place. Once it's locked into place, we can now go ahead and start the machine and select the setting we want. So I'm going with bread number 15, which is a homemade bread. So you'll just use your dial and turn it until you get to 15. Different breads have a different time. 15 goes for three hours. So now we're going to open the machine. Make sure you rinse out everything well before you use it. Pour in your hot water. In goes milk. Now I said hot water, but you really want it to be lukewarm. Melted butter. And all of the liquids go first. Then you start adding the dry ingredients. So now I'm going to go on with my flour. Salt and sugar goes in and yeast. Close the machine down and all you have to do is hit start. It needs three hours so we'll peep it while it starts kneading and then we'll leave it to continue to bake. So this was when all of the liquid was coming together with the dough and it was kneading it really well. So I'm going to leave it to continue and once it was done, you want to be very careful because the machine is very hot. So I'm going to take it out, turn it, as you can see, I turned it slightly and then you take it out. Now the bread is very hot, the tub is very hot. Look how amazing this bread looks. So perfect. I'm just going to turn it over and the bread is going to fall right out. If your dough paddle was stuck in your bread you would use your dough hook to get the paddle out so it does leave a hole in the middle of the bread but that's okay because we're still going to eat it right so once the bread cools down I'll go ahead and cut into it now and I have to say the bread was really soft it reminded me of the Carabas bread you get when you go to Carabas and they give you the olive oil dip that's what it reminded me of. It made a perfect loaf, nice and soft. And I had to have to tell you guys that I really enjoyed using this machine. It was just put everything as I showed you guys and just leave it and walk away. Really easy and then you come back and you get your bread. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review slash test video. Comment down below. I'll leave all of the information for this machine in the description box. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone.